In the past few videos, I've explained the basics of creating a tree view outliner, a collapsible outliner using Delphi. Now I'm gonna to have to speed up uh, these lessons a bit to get through all that I want to get through. In this lesson, I'm going to explain how to delete nodes. Now, remember that all the source code of the projects I show here can be downloaded for free from bitwisebooks.com. So let's see this program running. Here's my outliner, and you can see I've already loaded some nodes, some information into it, and it's collapsible just by clicking these little uh, glyphs here. Now, in previous videos, I've shown how to add items, so I could select this and I could add an item, or I could add a child, that's an indented item. But what about deleting? So if I want to delete this node, this selected node, here I click delete item, and up here I've got a node with children, and I click delete item, and it says there are items beneath, this, beneath the selected item, do I want to delete them all? And it gives me a chance to back out. Now, let's have a look at the code that does this. I'll switch to the code view here. So this is the code that's attached to the delete button. Now what is all this code? Delete is actually fairly simple. You can see here I just get the uh, selected node and I just call delete and it deletes it. So what's all the rest of the code? Well there was that yes node dialog, remember, when the node has subnodes, has children nodes, that lets the uh, user decide not to delete the node because it's going to delete a whole lot of other nodes, and that's a one-way operation, and um, the user might decide to, to cancel that. So the way I do that is, if the selected node has children, I test that up here, then I show this message dialog with a yes-no um, option, and if OK, so if yes was selected, if it's OK to delete them, then this block of code down here from begin to end, that executes to do the deletion. And you can see that uh, here I've explicitly placed the uh, selection upon the predecessor of the del deleted node. Of course, once the node is deleted, the selection has to go somewhere. And I do that by subtracting one from the absolute index. Here's absolute index, uh, and I've just subtracted one from it. Now, absolute index is the index of a tree node relative to the first tree uh, tree node in the tree. So let's have a look at the this again. So up here, the first one up here has index zero, and this has uh, index one, two, and so on. So that's the absolute index. Now, the index variable to which that is um, assigned here is later used to move the selection uh, back to the previously selected node. That's the one prior to the node that was uh, deleted. Now, there are two other buttons on this form that I want to talk about shortly, and that's the indent and the outdent buttons. You can see that I can indent and outdent a selected node. I'm going to be discussing that in the next video. Get free source code, hints and tips from bitwisebooks.com or sign up for a course at bitwisecourses.com.